Hi, this is Colleen de Roche and I'm going to have a look at how to use a gate for audio production today to remove noise from a track. So a gate is um, used to cut off all the sound from a track once it goes below a certain threshold. So the idea is you might have a uh, background noise, hum from an amp or just room noise or something like that and you want to cut all that out so that the signal more of the signal comes through and you don't hear this noise at the quiet parts. It can be especially good if you're going to use compression afterwards because if you use compression then that will bring that noise level up again and that will be even more distracting. So I have a track here, it's a recording of a guitar and there's quite a bit of hum at the start. So let's just have a listen. So there you hear the hum. Okay, so let's just have a look at what's happening here. If I zoom, if I just select a section here and loop it, and then I'll have a look using the analyzer to see what's going on here. So if you zoom in a bit, you see that below about minus 60 dB, we've got quite a lot of noise all throughout the spectrum, a little bit of a peak, maybe around 150. So an equalizer isn't going to do much good for us here. But because this is most noticeable in the quiet parts here, a gate is perfect. So let's just create a little loop, which includes a bit of the guitar sound. And now I'll add a gate. So this already does quite a good job, but it's probably a bit too extreme. So actually, I'm just going to loop on the noise for a minute. And lower the thresholds. Okay, so this is where the noise that we want to cut out is. So if we move the threshold just above that, that's pretty much gone. Now, if we have it close to the threshold and if the ratio is really high, you end up with this terrible distortion. It's more distracting than the original noise. So it's good to keep a soft knee so that the, the d difference between total gating and no gate um, isn't so extreme and also to keep the ratio a bit smoother so then you can cut off quite a lot so even if it's wobbling around here you don't notice that it's jumping up and down so much okay so let's include a bit of the guitar sound again Here, there at the end, there's still good bit of noise. It's because the release is quite slow. If we put the attack at release too low, though, you get this horrible distortion, too. So let's just put it back. Okay, so that's it. Thank you very much, and good luck.